The greatest question in the Bible is this, what will you do with Jesus who is called the Christ? How do you come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ? First, you recognize that you need Him and that you have sinned and come short of the glory of God as we all have done. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I have sinned and you have sinned. But because we have sinned, we must have the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse us from all sin. Our morality can't save us. Our goodness cannot save us. Our acts of kindness to the poor cannot save us. The Bible says we must confess our sin. For if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want you to understand that God can save to the uttermost. It makes no difference what you have done. His amazing grace can reach you. God loves us even though we have rebelled against Him. The Bible says in Romans 5 and 8, but God demonstrates His love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God made it possible through the gift of His Son for you and for me to be saved. That provision is God's gift. The Bible says clearly, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. It is through grace that you have been saved through faith. It is not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. You only get to heaven because you confess your sin. There must be the repentance of sin. Repent means to turn away. It means to walk and go another direction. The Bible says, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And you must be willing and ready to confess your sin to be saved. If you want to find Christ, he's as close as a prayer. And I want you to pray this prayer with me right now. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess that I am a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I ask you to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Come into my heart today and be the Lord of my life. I will serve you. I will obey you. I will read your word. And I will follow Christ from this day forward all the days of my life. Jesus, you are now my Lord and my Savior, and I am your servant. Amen. In that simple prayer, you have stepped from darkness into light. You have now identified with the family of the Lord Jesus Christ, and your spiritual brothers and sisters are waiting to see you this Sunday morning. I encourage you to go to a Bible preaching church this Sunday. Go to a church where the preacher gets up and preaches from the Word of God. A church where the preacher makes an altar call and gives the people the opportunity to be saved. That's where you're hearing the gospel. God bless you and congratulations on your new life in Jesus Christ.